Okay, so to remove the seats is pretty straightforward. Uh, all you need to do is first, before you do anything, is that get a little WD-40 and spray the rails uh, where these seats ride on because uh, sometimes if they've been sitting there for a long time, it might be tough to slide them in and out. But all you really got to do is uh, there's a lever over here that you're going to want to push towards the opposite side of the car. Okay, once that lever is pushed, you start sliding the chair forward. Sometimes you might have to slap it with your hand to get it going. If it's still tough to move, you might want to get someone in the back seat to push with their knees to get the seat up and out. But this pretty much slides. Now once you get to about this point, there's a spring underneath here that you're going to want to disconnect. Once you disconnect that spring, now you're really free to, um, to slide the chair out. Sometimes these cars are missing the springs over the years. Uh, basically what that spring is used for is to you know, give you a little oomph to slide the chair up. So basically again, uh, push the lever and slide the chair straight out. And that's it. Just like that, see? Not too bad. <laughs> okay, so the next step would then be to take the back seat out. Uh, basically this is also pretty self-explanatory. Um, you just wanna pull up from the front It'll pop right out of the dividing bar here and then just basically tilt it sideways and you should be able to slide it right out the door. Okay, so now once you have the back seat out, what you're going to want to do is there's two screws that hold the dividing bar in. There's one here and there's one on the other side. Take those out with a 10 millimeter uh, socket head and just take the dividing bar out. Then after you do that, there's two bolts that hold the backrest on, as you can see over here and over there. You unbolt those and the backrest should just come right out.